Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time since last video, four weeks, yeah four weeks to be exact and I mean considering my last video was when we went to pick up our puppy, um, I'm sure you can assume that I've been spending a lot of time getting to know him, getting adjusted to you know the new life with the puppy and that's the exact reason why I haven't been uploading anything on YouTube this last month. Um, I've been missing it and uh, I've been wanting to get back to it, but I really did. I really did want to take the time getting, you know, um, Frost familiar with our apartment, getting him used to me and Daniel and just getting used to everything. And I mean, we have had some struggles because it's been really hard adjusting to life with a new little puppy since this is the first time both me and my husband um, is having a puppy. So. I mean, we did a lot of research and looked at a lot of YouTube videos, read a lot online about, you know, getting a puppy and we knew it was going to be, you know, challenging in the beginning. But it's been a little more challenging than we thought, which I think is pretty normal because it is a really big adjustment. Um, but now after four weeks, actually we've had him for five weeks now, yeah, because he's, he's three months old or three months and one week. Um, so we've had him for five weeks and uh, I mean, we are slowly starting to find a good daily routine and I'm so happy about that because we've been experiencing some um, issues with potty training. Since we do live in an apartment, it's not possible for us to go outside potty every time since we don't have a backyard, clearly. Um, but what we do, like we have a balcony, so we do go out potty there. So we have like a pee pad area where we, you know, train him like that's where he gets to go when he gets to go. But it was really hard in the beginning until he kind of got the hang of it that, oh, that's where I gotta go. So we've been having a lot, like a lot of accidents inside. And we do have carpet, as you know. So that has not been so fun, but we are finally getting him used to potty training. Like for the most time, like I would say 98% he goes outside. And to help with the potty training, we also bought a little like potty, potty bell from Amazon. Um, it was like $8, so it was a really good investment. And we just hang it on the balcony doorknob because in the beginning before he learned that, oh, it's time to go potty, you know, because he didn't have control of his bladder. Um, we had a timer on our phone for like every 20 to 30 minutes because that's when we knew he had to go. So whenever we picked him up and like went to the balcony, we always rang the, po the potty bell and said, let's go potty. Because that way he'd know that, oh, okay, ringing the bell means go potty and no play, <laughs> no play time outside. So it's been really, really useful with that bell. I mean, in the beginning he thought it was a toy. We kind of figured that, but he got used to it really fast. Uh, I mean, sometimes he does overuse it so, <laughs> because he realizes, oh, every time I use the potty bell, my parents will take me outside. Uh, and he loves being outside, you know, looking at people, other dogs, stuff like that. But now he really gets the hang of it. Like every time he gets to go, he actually uses the bell. So I'm really proud of him and I'm so happy we got that potty bell. So that's my first tip in this video. If you are, you know, struggling with potty training with a new potty, the new potty, with a new puppy, just get a potty bell and I'm sure it will go much faster and better for your little puppy to potty train. So potty training was definitely the biggest not the biggest but one of the issues that we've been facing the other one is puppy biting or puppy nipping and we are still struggling with that today like every day you see this little band-aid sometimes he bites until it bleeds so we got this and i mean oh, i have so many scratches and i feel like i'm getting scars um i do have like a scar on this hand from when he scratched me so that's definitely an issue that we kind of want to get under control ASAP because it's really hard like every time I go somewhere uh, and if I have like looser clothes on like joggers or something like that or wearing my fussy slippers or anything like that I don't I feel like <laughs> I feel like he sees that as a trigger and like he gets so bitey so for every step that I take he kind of like jumps up and bites my pants and most of the times he also bites my leg with 
within the same bite and that's really painful and like also in the mornings like you know when i'm just wearing a, like a robe or something and don't have like any pants or anything on he just attacks my legs and it hurts so much so we do want to get the biting under control and we are like looking at a lot of youtube videos which has been really helpful those days when it's extra energetic because he has days when he's just crazy then the biting is even worse or like even extra um but i mean overall we're doing really well and we are eventually gonna put him into puppy classes even though he's not fully vaccinated yet we have been taking him out because we do live in an apartment we don't have a backyard and he's a puppy with a lot of energy so we've had to take him out like we've had to go out on walks because both me and him like i'm a stay-at-home wife um we both go crazy just being in the apartment and especially now when it's nicer weather spring is here we, we need to get out i mean of course we're extra careful and extra cautious when we do take him out i mean it's been working really great in the beginning he was really scared of people like as soon as we saw like someone else out there he was just really scared and like wanted up in my arms but every time now that we go out Every time I see a person, it's like a full-on attack. Like, he wants all the cuddles he can get. He's such a cute and snuggly puppy. He just wants to give everyone the puppy snuggles and love. So this is him now. He is double the size than when we got him. And he now weighs 18 pounds. So, okay, okay. He now weighs 18 pounds. That's like a little over 8 kilos. Um, which is a lot. Especially when you have to carry him for longer periods of time. Like for example, this morning we had a little scare. We went out for a walk and when we came back home, there was a garbage truck coming. And he got really scared, so I sat down with him. We were sitting on the side of the road. But even so, he was just backing and like he actually backed out of the harness and started running away. I was so scared. But I did, I did have treats with me and he was just scared, like he just wanted comfort. And I mean, he was really scared of the noise from the garbage truck. So he, you know, ran the other way, but he really wanted to just run to me. Um, so I gave him some doggy treats and then I had to carry him all the way home. So it was like three, four minutes to walk home. But since he didn't have the harness on and I wasn't even gonna try putting the harness back on, on the parking lot, so I carried him home. I was exhausted when I came home. Let me just tell you that because it's also really warm today. It's crazy warm today. So yeah, he's super heavy. Most of it is fluff, but I mean, he's gonna be, it's gonna be like a medium sized dog and he's growing like every day is crazy. We've only had him for five weeks. And uh, when looking back at like pictures from five weeks ago, he's like half the dog <laughs> that he is now. It's crazy because you don't really realize how fast he actually grows until you look back. As I mentioned earlier, he only has one more round of puppy shots until he's fully vaccinated. So we've been going to the vet um, two times for puppy vaccines. And then also another time because a few weeks ago he was having a cough So I called the vet just to see what they recommended we do if they wanted us to come in or you know if they thought it was just gonna go over by itself um they did want us to come in so we did go in the same very night and he did he did have a cough and they noticed that too or like irritation in the throat or like airways as they said so he did get some medicine he got antibiotics and he also got some coughing medicine so that's basically what we've been up to these last five weeks but we have been really, or he has been really active on Instagram. And if you don't follow him on Instagram already, go and give him a follow and like all of his cute content. Because we do upload quite a bit of pictures there and also a lot of reels. I guess that kind of like sums up what we've been doing the last five weeks. Since I haven't really been filming so much with my camera, which I kind of regret. But at the same time, like I said, I just wanted to get used to everything, you know, getting him comfortable with us and his new living situation. So my focus wasn't really on filming. Um, but we do have a lot of pictures on our phones. So we have, uh, we have baby pictures there, like when he's the smallest. Last weekend we also went into Chicago because it was such a gorgeous day and I met up with one of my friends from back home which was super nice and we brought this little guy with us and oh my god <laughs> it, yes I'm talking about you and all the attention he got it was crazy like every other person stopped they're like oh my god is he real like he looks like a stuffed animal and everyone like wanted to pet him and like snuggle with him he got so much love so I will insert some uh, clips from the weekend here as well i'm gonna start getting back to uploading once a week again so every sunday um because now i feel like we are more into routine which is really nice and i've been missing you know uploading here on youtube and lately oh my god here and lately i've also been getting quite a bit of comments you know on people with sammy's and uh, you know saying that 
I share some good tips which is really nice to hear so I am excited to be making more videos and you know weekly frost updates too because he is gonna be a big part of it I mean it's not gonna be like just dog videos but he's gonna be <laughs> he's gonna be in a lot of the videos <laughs> I also have to show you how his favorite little stuffed animal is looking so this is his little hedgehog that he uh, he's been having this since day one and he loves it as you can see but uh, okay but he is eating the fabric and I'm scared that it's gonna cause blockage in his stomach so I had to take this one away so we're not gonna be buying more stuffed animals that looks like this that he can easily pull like yarn out of oh and also this little snuggle dog oh my god he's just <laughs> he's like give me that um we bought this one for him oh my god i have to go somewhere else <laughs> uh, so we bought this one for him because inside let me show you because inside here is a little um like a little battery so you press it and it sounds like a heartbeat and this is supposed to be good for you know anxiety they're like when they sleep in the cray stuff like that um but he doesn't have a tail anymore and he also doesn't have any ears plus the head is starting to break so yeah we also had to take this one away because if he eats the stuffing he's definitely gonna have to go <laughs> have to go to the emergency vet we did also buy this puzzle toy it's from amazon and i guess you can use this as a slow feeder and put you know the kibble in here or you can use it as a treat like a little treat game like we have been doing so what you do is you can pull <laughs> okay <laughs> frost is demonstrating here <laughs> so basically under here we hide these little treats and okay frost frost let, let mommy just explain here real quick sorry so what we like what you do is um so in here you put like the little treats and then it's like this white thing you can pull it out <laughs> oh my god you can pull it out and then you can slide it and then there's a treat that's how it's supposed to be used but this little guy just flips it upside down and then all the treatos kind of fall out by itself so
so clear a lot as any to see the horizon and the far excuses were two for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car and when I feel the wind on my Oh, oh, oh.